That's right, baby. We got another one. This is the Tyco Log Dumping Depot. It's the second action set on my layout, I guess, and it honestly doesn't come with a whole lot. The set itself includes the push button to activate the dumping mechanism, the log storage bed, the track holder, which is also the car activator, three logs, and the dumping wagon. Like last time, I have two of these dumping wagons. I didn't touch on it before with the freight unloading depot because it wasn't really a, a story. It was more just like I got one at a train show and then I got the set later. So now I just have two. That's not very interesting. But these cars have a bit of a more interesting story in my opinion. All right, so there's this pretty big antique store in my area and it has this one stall with literally only model train stuff like rolling stock, decor, you name it, it has uh, and this is where I get most of my model train stuff right now. The guy who runs the booth sells out of box rolling stock, and that day when I picked up the set, I noticed that he had a second dumping car. Okay, so I'm not passing that up. It's five bucks, it's mine. I have it now. So I, I get home, I test it out, make sure all the pieces are there, whatever. That's assembled correctly, yeah, whatever. I tested out one of the cars, boom, works, sick, awesome, let's go. I bet the other one is Okay, so I took it apart and I looked at it after that revelation. Um, nothing was broken. So yeah, that was great. That was an experience. That was so much fun. I love that. It makes a weirder, higher pitch sound than the other car, but I don't care. It, it works. <laughs> Alright, so I've explained pretty much all the history behind the Tyco like action sets in my previous video, so if you want to figure out what they are, you should go watch that one, because I'm not really explaining it, because I already did it one time. Uh, anyways, I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about the log loader itself instead of the history of the action sets. Alright, so the Tyco log and loading set was created in the 1960s accessory line that Tyco was doing, and um, yeah, that's kind of obvious because that's where most of the other ones came from too. So it, it was originally sold with just the logs, container, and push button, and didn't actually come with the actual dump. Wait, 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 wait! Hold up a second. Did you just say <laughs> dump car? Why did you interrupt me like that? I was in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> Oh my god, did, where did he go? Uh, I, I don't I don't know, whatever. Anyways, the dumping wagon wasn't included much later on into the set's existence. Fun fact, they also eventually removed the electrical parts and made it a manual system instead of having the track holder. I guess it's a little more realistic, but now the container doesn't have something to hook onto, in case I didn't mention that. They also changed the color for some reason, which I guess orange on blue was just so much worse than green on white, which also completely matches. The version of the set that I have, the cars have these small prongs that touch the contacts on the freaking thingy. Uh, so this activated a small hinge and it makes the car pour out its contents. This dumping station is actually very similar to the uh, ore unloading station. That might be a future video. They even might be the same, I just don't know for sure. Like the freight depot, the entire thing is, again, plastic. Not just plastic, but bright blue plastic. Like Thomas the Tank Engine blue plastic. Why did they choose this color? Who freaking knows, dude? I don't even know. It's a silly, silly choice. Then again, 
I think we have to remember that model trains were not always meant for, you know, older people, but primarily used to be for children. They were a toy. They were a toy to be played with. So the bright colors were most likely intended to draw in the audience that Tyco wanted. Uh, unlike the Freight Depot, the set does not come with plastic figures or small parts. Oh, four clues we're missing. Uh, so I think that just about covers the set. Uh, it's a neat item for your model railroad. And that's it. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. And I will see you guys next time. Peace, love, and prosper, brothers and sisters. Goodbye. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sardor, and Harold was flying around. Oh no. Ah, ah, ah.